All right, so this is where we left off in the last video. I created all these different kind of smoke and fire elements on my assets, and then I brought them over. And then I realized if all I want to do is to clear the smoke and set it to reset, I can do a lot of that with the, the frames I've already made. This is what I mean. So this is the newest frame I brought in right here instead of changing all my assets and making a new a brand new layer I just duplicated the frame before so I made a duplicate command J and then I moved that above the last frame so now I have this right the problem is it's a little too similar to this frame so what can I do? I can take the opacity down on this one so that it's blending the frames together. And then I can make a duplicate of the frame underneath and I can just flip it horizontally. horizontally. Now how is this different than the other stuff I've been doing? like building assets and it's not different except that my assets now are just from old frames and I'm going to flatten them into new frames. So one way you can do that is by varying the opacity. So I'm going to take these two, merge them together. And now without having to, it, to move between my assets, this is called animating on the stage. I just built a new smoke layer and it's starting to kind of clear out a little bit. Okay, now I can take that as a frame, select it all, command A, command C, and I can save that to the top of my assets. So I just moved instead of from the assets to the stage, I moved an asset I created on the stage animating on the stage back to my assets so that now I can bring this down and then take the opacity on top of it, flip it, and start to clear this stuff by taking just opacities down and down and down and the flame opacity down and down and down. And you see how that's starting to clear? In fact, I don't think I want to flip it because I want it to start looking like it's staying in the same place. Yeah, more like that. And then the same old, same old. Click on the top most visible layer, hold down shift, hold down option, click on layer merge layers, go to the combine layer, command A, command C, paste it back. So what's cool about this is now I'm starting to see the, the head again. And I'm going to continue this method. So deselect, delete, just by starting to take the opacity down on each layer, it's going to start to clear. And I want to take the drop shadow down a little bit too. And maybe this fire down a little bit more kind of incrementally, right? And maybe just move that fire a little bit up. I don't need to be quite so careful about saving every everything as a duplicate because I am really kind of speeding now towards the end and I, I understand what I need. So now from this to this, so hold down shift, go to my base layer, Hold down Option, go to Layer, Merge Layers, take that Combined Layer, 
Command A, Command C, and then copy it back onto the stage. And if that feels like too much of a shift, check out what I can do. I can duplicate the, the layer beneath. Come on. I'm going to save because Photopea is lagging on me. I can duplicate the layer beneath, right? And then I can play with the opacity, duplicate the layer above, and then play with the opacity of them and then merge them. So this is creating what's called an opacity tween, a frame between two frames on my stage that blends the two together with opacity. So what does that mean? So I start with this layer, that's my next layer. But if I feel like that's too big a jump, I duplicate both of them and then I take the opacity at 100% of the one underneath and then the opacity on the one on top at about 50, 58. And then I select them both and merge them and I've just created what's called an in-between. So from here to here to here, right? So those are those are ways you can animate on the stage. Now I'm here. I want to keep clearing it. I'm going to do that with more taking down of opacity. I'm not even creating any new layers or new assets. I'm just modifying by lowering the opacity on these different layers and setting it slowly, slowly towards the beginning. Now right now, I have that, and that looks pretty good, but I want it to be this, because I don't even need to show it. I just need to duplicate this first frame and bring it all the way to the top, because I want it to set to reset, to go from here to here, and I can just do that through opacity. Does that make sense? But I'll do one stage where... I make it a little bit more nuanced. So I'm going to select all of this, copy it over. Again, copying from the stage to the assets. It's kind of a new thing. Paste it on top. Same thing, you know, Command A, Command C, copy it. But now onto assets. Now I'm going to start blending this in. So how many steps do you think I need? I think I need five steps. So the first one is going to be a little bit more nuanced is like this. At 10% and I'm going to take this down a little bit. And if I'm feeling particularly dramatic, I'm going to move this up on top. There we go. So from this to that. because he's still got the soot and everything. Maybe I want just a little bit more of that flame showing <coughs> or coloring. Uh, maybe not. All right. So let's do the whole usual saving from the assets to the stage. Hold down Shift. Scroll down to the base layer. Hold down Option. Go to Layer, Merge Layers. Take that combined layer that shows up at the top and hit Command A, Command C, and then paste that over to the stage. All right, pretty good. And if I feel like that's too abrupt, what can I do? I can duplicate it, make a tween, duplicate the one underneath it, make a tween, then set that opacity to about half, and then merge these two. It all makes conceptual sense. <laughs> and then you can test it with your eyeball. Right, so from there to there to there. Eventually to here. And now I'm just going to save my assets after deleting this merged layer. Just save them. And I don't need my assets anymore. I'm just going to finish animating on the stage. So that kind of saves some memory, only having one file now open, just my stage. And all I need to do is get from this layer to this layer to get it to set to reset. So what's required? Make a duplicate. Make a duplicate. 
then take it down, start with 30%, and then merge them together. So that's my first tween. I'm going to do about five tweens between my last frame and my first frame. So now make a duplicate, make a duplicate. <laughs> and on this one, take it down now to about 50%. Merge them together. See how it's clearing the smoke? Now what do I do? Make a duplicate. Make a duplicate. One on top. Take it down. Let's do it about my age, 46%. And then merge them together. And by merging, I'm just selecting them both, and then I'm hitting Command E. When you have multiple layers selected, Command E is the shortcut. And then I think I need one more to get a nice smooth transition. So, one more set of duplicates. Command J on the top. Come on, Photo P, stay with me. Yep, <laughs> just saved it. So make that duplicate and then make the duplicate underneath it and then blend it in with opacity. This is one way to set to reset. All right, so now this is how the smoke clears. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm back at my beginning. Does that make sense? All right, so that's how you can create an easy tween. Tweens are easy if it's just a matter of opacity. In Photoshop, you can actually do that all within an animation program called the Timeline. But it is possible to do it as long as you understand compositing and your layers. Okay, I'm going to save my stage now. And now is a really, really boring task because I'm pretending I don't have Adobe Photoshop, right? And I'm doing this all for free. And there's two ways to do it. One is I can Google animate within PhotoP to get to the PhotoP site and learn how I can code the names of each layer they all have to start with a then you set the delay in milliseconds and it's like it's a pain in the butt but you can get an animation right out of photo p or you can do what i show in the directions which i recommend which is using easygif.com maker the problem, problem with easygift.com maker is I cannot bring in a Photoshop file, right? What I need to bring in are multiple images that are of these file formats, and we're going to use JPEG. So what does that mean? It means all of these layers that I made, except for this background layer, I'm going to turn into single JPEGs. So make sure you save before doing this because it's time to run our final animation. And one way to test this that students have used that's clever is you can use a screen recorder or you can use your phone and record as you just click through your eyeballs. <laughs> because it's impossible to click through the eyeballs accurately while you're watching your animation, right? But if you hold up your phone and you record it while you're clicking through the eyeballs, it will show you <laughs> your animation, right? That's just to test it. But here I am back at frame one. And now what I do is I just go to File, Export as JPEG, and just hit Save. Then I turn on my next layer, and I say File, Export as JPEG, and then Save. Then I turn on my next layer, and I say File, Export as JPEG.